Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and we're going to continue looking at the process of stoichiometry and in this video we're going to look at the calculations that take place when we are comparing grams to grams. So grams of one substance to grams of another substance in a balanced chemical reaction. So we are reminded that our mole can allow us to convert from particles to moles, from moles to mass, from moles to volume, and so on. So we use these conversion factors to um, create a mathematical format that allows us to transfer from moles to grams and grams to moles. So our roadmap looks like this, and I always use the same roadmap, grams to moles to moles to grams, and I tell the students that it's important to understand that we are simply going to change the starting and stopping points on this path, but that the roadmap basically never changes. So let's look at how this roadmap will break down for us. So here we have a question, how many grams of rust, Fe2O3, can be produced from the complete corrosion of 15 grams of iron? So first thing we need to do is read the question and then confirm we have a balanced chemical equation and when we have four um, atoms of iron and three molecules of oxygen we get two molecules of rust Fe2O3 there are four atoms of iron on both sides and six atoms of oxygen on both sides so we do have a balanced chemical equation now I suggest to my students that they always mark their starting point and stopping points from the question and eliminate the words that may not have any influence on the actual process of stoichiometry. So for our situation what we're looking at here is we're looking at 15 grams of iron to go to how many grams of rust. So in order to identify those within our problem we can set it up like this we're going to start with the grams of given. Now once we have the grams of given we want to get the moles of given so we're going to compare one mole of given to the gram formula mass or the molar mass of that given value. Now once we have one mole of given we want to get rid of the mole of given and we want to get to the moles of what we want and once we have the moles of what we want we want to cancel the moles so we're going to put one mole on the bottom and we're going to put the gram formula mass on the top and then we are going to get our final solution of grams of what we want so this is our format for our roadmap to converting grams to grams so once again it's set up as such and we're going to take the grams of given one mole of given over the gram form and the mass of the given the moles of what we want over the moles of what we were given and this fraction in the center is always the mole ratio and the mole ratio always gives us values from the coefficients from the balanced chemical equations so remember this bridge here this bridge that lets us go from one substance to another is always created by the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. And then we end the conversion with the gram formula mass of what we want or the molar mass of what we want over one mole and that will allow us to get to grams of what we want. So here we have <clears throat> our setup and we're going to take what 15 grams of iron one mole of iron over 55.85 grams of iron which we get from the periodic table two moles of rust and that comes from the two in the balanced chemical equation over four moles of iron and that comes from the four in the balanced chemical equation and 159.67 is our gram formula mass or molar mass of rust over one mole of rust now we are going to cancel our units and when we cancel our units we notice that the only units left in the end will be grams of rust which is what we are actually trying to find which is our stopping point and we are starting from grams of iron now when we calculate we actually calculate any number on the top or in the numerator will be multiplied any number in the denominator will be divided 
and we end up with a value of 21.44 grams. Now, when we look at the problem, we actually see that there are two significant figures or two significant digits in the question, so we must round to two significant digits in our answer. So our final solution is 21 grams of rust. So let's look at a second question here, and here we have uh, the process of creating ammonia. N2 plus 3H2 gives us two molecules of ammonia. And the question is, how many grams of hydrogen are necessary to produce 2.5 grams of ammonia? So here we have circled the starting point, which is grams of ammonia. So that will be our grams of given. And in order to get rid of grams of given, we're going to use the gram form of the mass, or molar mass. And that is always going to be compared to one mole. So one mole of the given value. And then we're going to convert to moles of what we want. And we're going to cancel the moles of given. Now actually, the next step is to get rid of the moles of what we want and we're going to compare that to the gram form of the mass of what we want and that will give us grams of what we want as our final solution. So there we go. So that breaks down like this, grams to moles to moles to grams. Again the roadmap is consistent. So here we have our setup of 2.5 grams of ammonia times 1 mole of ammonia over 17.04 grams of ammonia, which is the molar mass or gram form of mass of ammonia, NH3. The middle ratio is the mole ratio, which comes from the balanced chemical equation. So our 3 comes from the coefficient in front of the hydrogen, 3 moles of hydrogen. The 2 comes from the coefficient in front of ammonia two moles of ammonia and we have 2.02 grams of hydrogen over one mole of hydrogen and 2.02 is the molar mass of hydrogen we are reminded that hydrogen is a diatomic and therefore you must have H2 and that's where we get the 2.02 .02. so now we cancel our units and when we cancel our units we will notice that our final solution will be grams of hydrogen which is what our question is asking us to find. And when we do our calculations, we are going to calculate by multiplying the values on the top, 2.5 times 3 times 2.02, .02, and then we're going to divide the units from the bottom, 17.04, and divide by 2. So that comes out with a value of 0 0.4445 grams of hydrogen, but we notice that our question only has two significant figures or digits in the question, so therefore we must round to two significant digits, two significant figures in the answer, and therefore our final solution is 0 0.44 grams of hydrogen. So hopefully these two, two examples of gram-to-gram -gram stoichiometry will help you, and you will continue to work on your chemistry.